Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 8, Episode 22 of Adventure Time. Last we saw, we started the two-part, or the first two parts of the eight-part series, Islands. We established the story. Susan Strong lands in a ship. We need a human to identify things and to help us along, and then Jake smashes the ship. We take a boat, Princess Bubblegum's boat. We're sent off by Marceline, Princess Bubblegum, and Fern. Fern is watching things while we go on this adventure. He's watching the treehouse, doing Finn-type jobs while Finn's gone. But Finn said, do it your way. Don't feel like you need to be me. You're not me. You're your own person. I dig it. Bimo sneaks on the ship, stowaway, breaks out of the room because Whipple the Happy Dragon is so annoying that no one can stand more than a few hours of this dude. There is a boat full of guys trying to attack him. Whipple goes chaotic, turns into like Storm from X-Men and makes a giant Kraken-like hole in the ocean. Their ship's destroyed. They sail away. Whipple becomes our friend, ruins us. Then at the end, he tells us, I only thought you guys wanted to take the long boat to China. That's like the saying. But he's like, I figured you guys wanted to go the long way. And I could just blow you with my breath across all of this shit. And there is all sorts of deterrence. There are spiky things that look like magma, like volcanic lava, magma type spiky things shooting out of the ground or the ocean, I should say. There is a part in the ocean, like almost like Moses part of the seas. And it looked like there was a city in that crevice. And then there was a hundred other things. We also saw elephants dancing around a volcano and a Mothra type thing came out. I can't help but assume that's got to do with tree trunks. How is there elephants in that aspect? Unless they're totally just trying to mind screw us. It could be the case as well. But if it wasn't for us just having a episode with tree trunks, having babies, hybrid babies with aliens, I wouldn't have thought that. But I have to think that that might have some sort of connection in some way. Even if it doesn't, it's weird and everything's weird. The only thing in the theme song we haven't seen is this bear right here and that parrot. I said that I was going to rewatch the theme song in the beginning. There's a new intro for Islands, and I'm thinking they really showed us a lot from the last episode in the theme. I thought we'd see maybe the yellow dudes on the boat, and that was it. And instead, we saw the robotic dolphins, a dolphin riding the robotic dolphins, a tinier dolphin. The yellow people got their boat wrecked immediately by Whipple. Whipple was the dragon. At the end of the theme song, though, after we see the Colossal, and in the end of the last episode is when we saw the Colossal, destroyed the boat, Jake sort of saved them, but we don't really know what's happening, and the Colossal looks like it is the reason why Finn is where he is and why he is. His father had something to do with something. I am assuming they were escaping the island. In the theme song, they showed Whipple go... <laughs> And like, look evil. And that was after the colossal part. So I'm assuming there's more to do with Whipple, but we're getting close to the island. I'm going to do two more. We're going to see what happens. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions to all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. If you're seeing this on YouTube, we are done and full with everything Adventure Time. If not, here we go, guys. Season 8, episode 22. Adventure Time, Mysterious Island. And we saw that there was a wizard riding the bear. The bear had shoes on the backs of his feet. I saw on the theme song, I'm trying to pay attention. I see shakings of earth. What? That is a tidal wave. Jake, Bimo? Why do I feel like it's something? He took that impact quite well. Have you by any chance seen a cool dog or a giant smelly lady come through here? A giant smelly lady. They did some kind of song. Stupid crabs. That parrot is way bigger than I pictured him. And he ate them and then shit an egg out. It sounded like they did that, 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 that. And this is a human mattress. With seeds, awesome gourds, theories, and practice. So someone was trying to guard and maybe save the human race. He used the seeds Whoa. to make a Actually, hat, these so to speak. Really working a treat. That works too. So weather patterns are insane. Where are we? Shit's got to be going different wherever we are. It's snow. Neat. Tush, coming down hard again. I better head back. Weather patterns are so chaotic. There's literally like a wall where it just stops. 
Looks like someone's still living here. Oh my god, it <laughs> barely <laughs> fits you. in the trap. Thick as heck. Whoa! Good grief, man. It was a you trap. On this? That's shady. The bear. Giant bear? I fought the lich at the edge of space time, man. You're out of your depth. You best just roll on, bruh. Hey, 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 hey! Just gonna eat him. <laughs> See? I told you. Stop. Nay, nay, nay. Wizard. Gotta be a wizard. What wizard is it? That was the question. Come, Albert. It sounded like she said, come, Albert. It's wearing some kind of hat or something about Finn. Hey. You're a human, right? And another human who smells, and I've been saying this a lot, not great. Did you send for me? Are you the mayor of here? Is that how I'm she sorry. cooks eggs? Like steaming saying. them? We're steaming the eggs? Hmm. Well, she has a voice activated rope. Huh? Oh, oh. I think she's saying violence isn't the answer. Like, eh, eh. She gave him all his Maybe. stuff back. You can't just... Is the giant bear going to play the flute and they're going to realize it does something? Scratches no! his ass with the flute. One last time. Have you seen my brother anywhere? They're giving... His name's Jake. And hound! Hound? It sounds oh. like, like a hound dog. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. You want me to draw you? I don't know how to draw, really. Banana Guard 16 tried to teach me once, but it didn't stick. I think she's put. Look at her. Okay. Ah. I thought that it would look better. Is that? She stuffs the. Look at how big the bear is, man. What? Are you folks afraid of thunder? What is that? It's like oh. some advanced tree. It's like some protective magic barrier or something. And the bear just swings you in a little. Known, I guess since you talked to that net earlier. Yeah, she literally you can't made a. Me, can you? I really want to say it out loud, but I've been embarrassed. Are crabs robots? In what way isn't a crab a robot? Bimo's not a crab, but I don't understand why Bimo's not a crab. Is she like the first human Lady, ever or something? Shh. Wing Sue Hans Becca Alva? Hey, that's her. That's, you. that's her. Your name's Alva. Greta. God, there's now there's a guy with a hat. Oh. King Linda. Oh my god. So all these beasts came and killed them all? That's humans? Taken out by you and me, Alva. And Susan, I guess. Sounds like the storm stopped. Please let us see more videos. There's tons of them. Hunden. She just basically said, like, a parrot and giant wolf no sign ate and killed everybody left, and they were doing... Ah! Hey, things were glitching in the weather. Hey, hey, Maybe that Last crab second. thinks it ate her babies. I got attacked by 19 giant crabs in just the last 30 seconds. I almost got eaten by this... Hey, that's awesome. Now let's get the heck out of here. I, I think she's human. Alva, have you seen my friends? Giant boob fin. That's what it looks like. Oh, stuff, man. That's the slow shake. That's the universal death gesture. The slow Finish. shake. You oh, look at this. She's drawing like a map. She's drawing a map. Shoot, man. More islands. Bimo and Susan must have washed all up on one of all up of them. It looks like there's only three more. It shouldn't be too hard. That might be it. Sir, Bimo? Oh, we're going to see where they are. Another fin cake, sir. This is the life. I wish you guys could be here too, on the moon. And Susan too, I guess. She seems fine. What? Well, I am definitely jumping immediately into the next one because I know each one's gonna be like this. I'm probably gonna end up finishing the whole series and I thought I'd only get like two or three in, maybe four, I'm about to jump into the fourth. I might pause regardless because I'd be watching 10 episodes in a row then, or at least eight. and. I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to like sit on it and let me think. But all right, let's talk about this first and then we'll see where things go. We have Bimo at the end there on the moon. For the sake of the show, I'm guessing it can't be the actual moon because it looked like Bimo was sitting on the entire moon in a little chair and it wasn't as big as the moon should be unless I'm envisioning it wrong. Either way, Bimo 
is above the earth and we saw the earth and regardless of the scale of things, Bimo looks to be on the moon. There is a guy named Waitman79 who is feeding him fin cakes. So cupcakes with Finn's head on them is being fed to Bimo. Bimo's on the moon. Don't ask me how Bimo got to the moon. The way we ended the episode before this was Whipple blew us all, the Colossal came, and we got our ship destroyed, which at that point was Jake, and everyone got scattered. So Finn goes to this mystery place where there's this giant tidal wave. We see that weather patterns aren't working quite the same here. In the beginning, two crabs are trying to tell Finn something. I think they were using some kind of Morse code or something. I couldn't decipher it. But then this giant parrot immediately comes and eats them. I think that's why Jake was getting attacked by crabs at the end. I think these giant crabs were coming back thinking, you killed our babies or something. Then Finn made some sort of reference that are crabs robots in this world. I don't know what that was, but the parrot that ate them looked like it was the cause of the death of all the remaining humans, or at least the ones on this island. We have Alva, who is this high-tech, wizard-looking human woman. Older, old as dirt probably, the only surviving one along with a giant bear, and they go inside this tree... And there's high-tech, sophisticated stuff all over the inside of the tree. They have some barrier that could protect them from this insane weather patterns. There are certain areas that are just being touched by snow, and it was similar to the barrier of the Ice King. So I have to assume that the remaining humans or something to that effect landed on this island. They were trying to figure out how to harness or use the elements or the magic and then these giant beasts, this wolf and this parrot that are insanely huge came and it showed them killing Linda and someone else. She was putting X's through their names. So I'm guessing that was the rapid fire way of them explaining to us that everyone's been killed off except Alva, but she's come up with some protective barrier so that she can't get hurt. But then we go to the beach and Jake's there fighting a crab and Bimo's on the moon and we are back with Jake, but we don't know where Susan Strong is and Alva and the bear are with us, but I don't know if they're going to continue with us. Probably not, but we need more answers. She shows us one film reel, and that's all we get. And that was like, I don't know, I got to go back and watch. But there was lots of craziness going on. Why are certain places on this island super exposed to certain types of magic or elemental magic or power? I don't know. And how did Alva live all the way out here by herself? No one's found her. She draws us a map of other islands. I think they said three more and we're about to jump into part four. So let's see what's up. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. If you're seeing this on YouTube, we are done in full with everything Adventure Time unless something new popped up after Distant Lands. If not though, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.